actually tied a rope onto his life jacket. And he said, where's Cameron? And I said, I thought he was with you. Oh, every time I do that, Sparks comes yeah, right. Yeah, he thinks that's his cue to come in. He thinks I'm calling him. Oh, did you see his haircut? He looks like a big boy now. <laughs> He's there almost he a year old. Yeah, in a couple weeks. Okay, anyway. Hi, Mom and Dad. Hey, how are you doing? Hi. Good. We're so happy to finally be able to talk to you guys. I mean, we hate that quarantine has kept us apart. We right. miss you guys dearly. So we just had a couple questions for you guys. So it's right. just going to be a parental conversation. <laughs> Speaking of parenting, the dog. We need some pointers. Just like right patience here. and the difficulty. And what do you guys feel like the most challenging thing about being a parent is. Uh, making sure that you're teaching the right thing. You have to be on a team and be on the same page on that stuff. And I think you equally parent. I, I never like the idea of people, mothers saying to their children, oh, wait till your father gets home and he'll take care of that. Mm -hmm. It's like, no, you know, if you're a parent, you're a mom or you're a dad, you can take care of it yourself. I feel like that's how we feel. Like, yeah, we're very stern. I mean, Sparks is not a good example of that. We've learned a lot having Sparks. Yeah. He was our practice for when the real time comes. Right. It's not here yet. On the other side, of course, we know that it's difficulty in parenting, but it's also like a lot of rewarding moments. You know, what's a moment for you guys that just really stands out in your mind that was just really a moment where you were proud to be parents? God, there's so many, really. I, this is something that we've talked about a lot. When Cameron was little, we went boating all the time. And one time we were down to the lake and he wanted to go swimming and we didn't really feel like going swimming. We actually tied a rope onto his life jacket. Oh, I've and, seen that video, I think. And he would love that. I mean, we didn't let him go that far or anything. Yeah. He was, uh, it was it was really funny. He loved it so much. We did stand on the dock and watch it. Oh, it's not like yeah. you tied a rope on yeah. it. No, no, we were, no. We were really dangerous. Somebody said, me one time years ago when you're married you get a house it's a house when you have children it becomes a home and that's really children really add so much to a relationship into a home that it's hard to explain that but some of my fond fondest memories to build on what Pam was talking about is we spent many many weekends with the kids camping we would load a boat and go to a different lake all the time and we would have a tube behind the boat and we would tell yeah we'd say Riding like on a an inner tube with, with a rope and dad would drive it around the lake. I would kind of plead with him to make big waves by dr driving in circles. Oh and when you hit it with the tube, you go airborne. Sometimes Cameron's yeah. feet would be higher than his head. Yeah. And oh, they yes. I just love that. Same thing with the snowmobile. Kid sleds tied to that and dad would drive us around the field. I will say that you guys have had like some really memorable times. Cause even now, like Cameron and I will be doing something and he'll be like, oh, that reminds me of when I was younger and dad did this or mom did this and we would do this all the time. So it's crazy how you don't really realize how those memories stay with right. you throughout your life and impact right. like what you do now. Like Cameron as an adult is such an important thing to him to kind of relive those memories. And yeah, right. this reminds me to think that uh, you know, having a variety of experiences is important too. Mm -hmm. and, and you guys really ensured that for Elena and I growing up, you know, we did all these things outside, going fishing, snowmobiling. But we also, you know, you took mom, uh, you orchestrated the trips to like go to New York City and Boston, mm -hmm. Florida. And so we did, you know, a lot of different things. We wanted you to be well-rounded, you know, to be able to know the city life as well as the country life, do all kinds of athletic things, skiing, snowmobiling, fishing. Hunting. Well, we used to take them everywhere. It wasn't any opportunities or, or situations uh, where we would leave them with someone else yeah. and go skiing right. for the weekend or go whatever. Learning is, you can learn out of a book and that's obviously a positive thing, but you also learn through experience and positive experience. So we, we took them everywhere. I think that helped a lot. And it shows to this day. I mean, Cameron and Elena, they're some of the best people who I've ever met. And I'm not saying that just because I'm in the family, but they're literally so sweet and so smart and so loving and respectful of all people and all things. And <laughs> so you, you guys have really raised like amazing human beings. So it takes awesome human beings to raise other opportunities. Thank you. Yeah. It's oh, true that it helps, but having said that, you know, we, as I said the other day, we can provide them with the tools, we can give them guidance and support, but what they make out of it really is up to them. They both have turned into wonderful young young people and they, they uh, 
can take a, a big helping of that credit on their own. <laughs> Let's get into some fun stories. We're all about to start crying here. Yeah. On this slide. It's emotional. Okay, so on the show, a lot of people see Cam as this, you know, kind of calm, emotional, gentle guy, which he is, but yeah. he's a rambunctious child, right? So tell yeah. us some of your favorite stories that you feel like, I don't know, Cam growing up, like about his uh, mischievous time. Yeah, I could side. be mischievous at times. <laughs> well, I, mean, I always think of West Musquash. Yeah, that was scary. You gonna tell it? Well, uh, we always went camping to this place. This lake is very remote. You couldn't get there unless you went by boat. And we were in a tent, Cameron and Elena, Bill and I, and our two dogs. And Bill got up early to go uh, fishing. Right. And I was in the tent with the kids and the dogs. And Bill came back and he came in and I had gotten up and I thought Cameron was with him. And he said, where's Cameron? And I said, I thought he was with you. And we started, he was probably eight, eight. maybe 10. Yeah. And we couldn't find him. And he had gone on a trek by himself. He thought he was Indiana Jones. Oh, yeah. Oh, I had the little hat. I had a my Bowie knife too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my in the handle. He had left. When he came, we did find him, he but we back. had we had horrible visions of losing him and having to have help search teams. And but he said he came back. He said I left you messages. And he, <laughs> he had drawn. What was it you had done? Drawn the arrow. On the oh, I I scratched with the knife uh, arrow in one of the rocks. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, pointing to where I had gone. On the flip side, Kim, what are some I guess memories that stick out for you for your parents? It's a really long list. Some that come to mind right off the top. You know, skiing when we were young. We have a uh, kind of an interesting video. Pam is, I don't know, seven months, eight months pregnant. With Elena. With Elena. And she's teaching Cameron to ski. Oh, wow. I'm going to say, I was telling Cam this the other day. You are such a strong woman. I mean, <laughs> first off, from delivering Cam at, what was it, nine pounds? Wait, ten, and ten pounds? Six ounces. <laughs> He's no, ten four. No ten medicine, four. Oh, natural birth. Oh my mm -hmm. God, you're such a strong woman and you did it all so gracefully. You're such Very a shining good. beacon for all of your family and we all love you so much. If I had known I could have had medicine to deliver him, I would <laughs> <laughs> That. <laughs> almost 11 pound baby naturally my goodness on the flip side of that would be a question about what was maybe one of the harder things about being a parent when you said that it's watching your children struggle if they have some you know friendship or relationship or schoolwork or job just seeing them go through that struggle and knowing that they have to go through that in order to be stronger and to reach success but it's difficult to watch and it's difficult to let them go, to go off to college, to, you know, to go out first time driving. It's so scary, but you have to do it. I was a scary driver too. <laughs> a few accidents, but. <laughs> that was many years ago. Right. You're a great driver in Atlanta. And Lauren's a driver. Well, you've always been a driver. You yeah, just got... I can officially drive in Atlanta now. Got my right. Georgia license. Next, I gotta get my little truck. Like Got my Jeep. car in mind. A because lot of women like to have a Jeep, I think. It's based on watching Clueless. It's that's almost that's like a big percent of it. Oh, and if. That's almost. a big part. It's my little dream truck. So <laughs> I wanted to ask you guys, you know, as parents with Kim going through this kind of crazy experience with Love is Blind and of course like me now being your daughter. You know, as parents, I guess how does that like feel well a that your son got married in such a uh, unconventional way unconventional yeah and b just the fact that he went and did that like were you guys surprised or not really or were you like oh it's just Cam yeah, being Cam kind of fun to ask <laughs> <laughs> yeah. be completely honest you know I think you you told someone publicly to whatever that we said it was insane um <laughs> and that, you know we understand. yeah my parents too <laughs> yeah and, and i you know a lot of reality shows was is a lot of negative publicity and i just thought you know cameron that's not something that he would be involved in that he wouldn't mm -hmm. like that i didn't think it was a good idea but i i was wrong it worked out very well and we love you and we're so glad that 
that he did meet you and that it turned out well, but we were just so nervous because he had said, oh, you know, I'm going to do it, even though we had said, I don't think, we don't think it's a good idea. But he said, I'm definitely not going to get married or anything like that. <laughs> I um, said the same thing. Yeah. It's been said many times. You took a leap of faith and it worked out. So mm -hmm. you have to do that sometimes. I mean, what a crazy story we'll have to share with our family from here on out. We we couldn't be more pleased with the outcome. Yeah, it, it definitely felt faded. I think for Lauren and I, if we had met in other circumstances, it would have worked out. If I had met Cam at the grocery store. Right. <laughs> yeah, I, I believe that. Environment kind of facilitated things, but ultimately I do think it was us. And Seeing you two and just your love and is it 38 years? You know how they say goals, hashtag goals, like you guys are literally goals and I know that I've told you guys this all the time. Every time I talk about it, I'm going to cry. I'm not going to cry this time, but you guys know I didn't really have that example. Here they come. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't really have that example of, you know, a successful marriage. So seeing you guys, you know, for almost 40 years is beautiful. And I hope that Cameron and I, our marriage is as beautiful and long lasting as you guys. It will be. Yeah. <laughs> I'm crying. <laughs> I'm crying. But what a conversation this is I mean we've laughed we've cried talked yeah. about marriage and parenting and dogs and ladies <laughs> <laughs> this has been great I've really enjoyed this There's so many gems I mean we always learn so much inspire from us and we want to um have you come home and so that we can plan a reception too sometime yes. right. <laughs> well we love you guys so much we can't wait to see you we will see you very soon. I mean, yes. As soon as we can, of course. Digital hugs and kisses. Bye. Bye. Say. Talk to you soon, guys. Bye. Bye. Love you. Love you. Love you.